signal anymore. I think the shark bit it off. It's gone? Yeah, it's gone. Pull on it and see if it pulls up. Nothing. Completely gone. Our boat is the research vessel Warfish. Her home port is Point Judith, Rhode Island. But our home is out here, offshore. My name is Joe Romero. And I'm Lauren Romero. If you really want to see things, you have to come live out here. And that's what we do. The Warfish has every kind of electronic sensor. We can see, hear, sense, and record everything around us in the atmosphere and the ocean. We know exactly where we are and where we're going at any time. Our technique is simple. Turn off the engine, turn on the sensors, drift with the currents, be quiet, and watch. Today we're wondering what the bottom is like, over 200 feet down. Most of what we see is in the water column around the boat, and then instead of but the bottom is part of their habitat too. And that's what we want to document. For that, we have a little ROV. This model has three electric motors. We hope they're strong enough to go to the bottom. This one's pretty easy to operate. All you have to do is make sure it's recording and go. Wait. Okay, now we're ready. Not too bad. But the long tether is a challenge. The ROV may be small, but it takes two people to run it. It looks like it moves really fast. It took some getting used to, but I think I caught on to it pretty fast. The sheer waters were curious. This is a great opportunity to learn this ROV before the sharks show up. Yeah, I know. I can't see. This is a blue shark. You can see why they're called that. With all the noise and the movement, this ROV is like a dinner bell to the shark. I can't get a handle of it. These sharks just keep knocking into it. More blues show up. I try to drive the ROV around them and move outside the circle of sharks. Lauren and Jamin are helping me manage the tether. Then it goes to another level. Watch it. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Mako's got it. A big Mako shows up and goes for the ROV. I'm gonna try to get it back. Seems triggered by it. This may have to wait. We have to get the ROV out of the water fast, or we risk losing it. We'll pull it out and try it tonight. Maybe there'll be less sharks. Maybe when night falls and everything calms down, we can try it again. There's no sharks around. Now's our chance. Fortunately, this ROV is equipped with lights. We make sure that the tether is tight. 
and we drop the ROV over the side. more power than we thought. It zooms down out of sight. We hit the bottom. At 217 feet, there it is. Oh, look at all this. It's so hard to fight the current. We have about 300 feet of cable pulled out by the current. The small, light ROV is very hard to control. Oh, check this out. I could have found a lobster. Try to get a little closer to the Ah, the lobster's got a hold of it. He's messing it all up. I'm gonna try to bring it back to the surface. Note to self that lobsters can be worse than sharks. It's heading up. shark right there. We pull the ROV up and the sharks are waiting in ambush. This time, they go for it. He's super pumped up. He's all over it. It's gonna come up. Is it coming up to the surface? It is, but it's gonna go through a wall of sharks. Our mate goes back. I don't have signal anymore. I think the shark bit it off. It's gone? Yeah, it's gone. Pull on and see if it pulls up. Nothing. Completely gone. We have now officially lost our ROV. It floats, right? Okay, we gotta start a boat go get it. I can't remember if this ROV floats without a tether. Our Mako had obviously taken it, but it hadn't taken it far. Is that it right there? As soon as we started the boat, right, we noticed the ROV there. float to the surface. I told you it was going to float. Oh, I see it. It's floating up. I reached out to get it out of the water, and the sharks came right in behind it. We got it! Oh my god. They got it. And it floats! That's gonna be some awesome footage. That's crazy though, I can't believe they got that. It just completely took it right off. We were very happy with the tests on the ROV. Making it to the bottom is great though. They pulled the sharks in close, and they were super curious about it. It makes you wonder what else is down there. Yeah. <laughs>